Bobby Hundreds also commented on the issue and he kind of alluded to what Virgil said, I think for the most part, we can't really read too much into it, but he had a, an immensely um, refreshing take on the situation. Um, again, you know, Bobby Hundreds is intrinsically tied to the LA streetwear scene more than anybody really. He's probably done more for that LA scene than Virgil has ever done um, in his lifetime. So he he's basically well placed to really comment on it in a really cool way. And he did. Um, got an image here of this is a, I'm assuming the corner where the hundred store is with their billboard we miss you and then the next slide he says the following Instagram caption he says I grew up here we found our community here we established our brand here so this is emotionally very difficult to watch and process but I'm not angry about the devastation when commenters ask how I can condone rioting and looting I categorically do not Yet I'm not surprised when people ask why I'm not upset that my business is impacted or my neighborhood pillaged. I tell them that my disgust over injustices in this country eclipses any other temporary feeling. Don't ever stop protesting. I never said rioting or looting. Dissent is a bona fide American act. Use your voice. People die for your da that right. Stand up for yourself and others. Even if you bring the fire to my doorstep, I will stand in it with you. How powerful is that? Even if you bring them fire on my doorstep, I will stand with you. Instead of, you know, the Virgil crew and what they're saying, you know, bring it to my doorstep. Especially if you're a Don C. If you're a Don C person, bring it to my doorstep, I'll shoot you my shotgun. Or Virgil, don't bring it, don't bring it to my store, go to the corporations. You can't choose where you point the fire, my friend. <sighs> And so he continues, says, and this, is anyone truly surprised that 2020 looters would be, would not set fires or rob banks, instead opting to steal beer bricks and sneakers? We feed these kids this bullshit all day, hypebeast.com. Convince them that they need these things, they, they need, the, uh, that they need, uh, that they need things they don't, that they are not enough without a brown on their back, hypebeast.com. We taught them to value hoodies above their relationships, their financial education, their careers. Hypebeast.com. So where will they run first uh, in the night? It's not to the bookstores. Disclaimer, it says. First, I don't speak for all shop owners. This is my personal opinion and perspective. Second, I'm aware that my shop is not an entire livelihood. Third, I turn off comments, not because I'm unwilling to debate, but because I'm tired of cowards who log into alias accounts to jab. You guys are fucking annoying. But what a brilliant point from Bobby Hundreds. And again, just really cuts at the core of what Virgil is basically skewing there. And then the next couple of points on this one were, what's this one? Da, 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 what's really going on? Let's get this on here. Bubbly, 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 bah. What was this screenshot? Uh, uh, uh. But yeah. I don't know, man. I think we'll just basically end that one there in terms of the conversation regarding the streetwear stuff. I'm not surprised, man. Um, these guys aren't necessarily for the culture. They're for your pockets. They want your money. Um, your money gets them prestige. That prestige gets them new jobs. Those new jobs, you know, wax their ego. It goes on and on and on and on and on. I hope that this whole debacle will basically open your eyes or open most kids eyes to you know the people that they're kind of idolizing be careful who you choose as your idols and to really kind of you know remember this don't forget this once everything is over um choose the brands that you buy into wisely um if you're unable to separate the brand and the person make sure you're following the right person who's doing the right things or maybe aligns up to your worldview if you ascribe to the worldview that virgil and his friends i don't see are talking about then do that too but the don't see screenshots were even more nuts i've not got time to send them on the screen now but he essentially posted a couple of sh screenshots um off the back of i guess his shop rsvp getting looted one of them said the pr the one principle i admire is the unity of the young people the way all those young black white latino asian kids were united looting and writing my store you fucking condescending cunt it continues here i'm not sure what the cause is but they were clearly revolting the system and he puts that kind of i don't know what's going on face right and he says tonight i have shotguns in hand so he's threatening his own kids uh, he's threatening people that you know are essentially fans of his store because you know they know where to go and to loot with um which would essentially would definite He's basically threatening him and saying, if you come to my store, I'm going to shoot you. 
and then he's being condescending by kind of saying oh are they really rioting because of police brutality or they're just doing it to line their own pockets mm. maybe or because maybe you fetishize the need to have bare brick toys in your apartment and your house with you know with kids around and shit maybe that's why they're ransacking your store and lifting up cause statues and shit maybe that's why they're doing it you have an entire instagram feed full of your material possessions glorifying it putting them on a level playing putting them on a pedestal and then you're surprised when these kids decide to take those things first when the rioting starts or the looting starts sorry anyway another slide that he put up on the instagram story he says thoughts with a little thinking emoji maybe those young people who scientifically may not even have fully developed brain yet so my brain is not fully developed so that's why i'm understanding what you're talking about what you're saying all right cool um he continues that have not acquired wisdom and discernment think that they're doing the right thing by risking their lives stealing from me <sighs> if they're sincere and this is the case i forgive and it brings me joy if they are really truly happy now with a smile he's such a prick isn't he honestly if you wear don't see hat now straight after this issue you're a cuck mate this guy is an absolute wanker it continues says more thoughts i post material things that influence these undeveloped brains to, to cover it and that is wrong and he's saying you've got an undeveloped brain because you're robbing from your store he says you've got an undeveloped brain if you go to his feed because you like the the roller seat pedals and the fact that his wife has a matching shoes as him or the fact that he has a birkin bag whatever the else he posts on his fucking instagram feed he says i continue i need to post content that promotes love empathy wisdom understanding and honor a respect next slide no that's it right what an absolute cock huh? that's chicago don't see on instagram check him out if you want to probably delete these slides that's it. i don't know but choose your heroes wisely i don't know nothing more to say really on this issue um i guess the end of it i'll put a little post here as to how you can help if you actually want to enact change and you don't want to listen to these numb nuts on the interwebs um I'll put it here on the screen. It's uh, Black Lives Matter dot card card with two R's dot C O. So Black Lives Matter dot C A R R D dot co. It's got loads of ways you can help um, from signing a petition, text or call, donating more resources, information for protesters, and an FAQ. Check out the website. I'll link it in the show notes as well for you guys to see. But that's Black Lives Matter dot C A R R D dot C O. And then there's also news of the London riots happening as well. If you're located within London or I think it's the UK or London, you see the post coming up. There's some riots happening too, some protests sorry, happening. So if you want to take part in those, then do that as well. Some Black Lives Matter protests. This is a post from Love Magazine. It says important protest dates in London. If you witness an arrest or a stop and search or any legal questions, call the Green and Black Cross GBC protest support line at 079-465-45111 but here's the most important thing here to black lives matter key london dates uh nil for floyd trafalgar square sunday that's already passed so we have one coming up on saturday no sorry a peaceful protest happening in high park wednesday further june from 1 p.m so that's Wednesday, 3rd of June, Hyde Park, Wednesday, 1 p.m. And then we have another protest at Parliament Square on Saturday, the 5th, 6th of June for 1 p.m. And another one again on the Sunday, the 7th of June, 2 p.m. Uh, note here, keep an eye on the uh, LD, hashtag LD nblm on social media for updates important wear protective masks bring food water and wear non-identical clothing so make sure you're in all black to you don't get spotted by the old popo but yeah um that is it on that one um i think i might just end it there because you know i don't want to keep grabbing on about this stuff i don't really have any of the answers and um i'm probably you know an sequential voice in this but i thought i'd give my perspective on what's going on hopefully you've um, got some kind of um information on where i stand and the situation at hand um if you are protesting out there make sure you keep yourself safe uh don't get yourself up caught up in any sort of bother make sure you look after each other and hopefully off the back of this there is some sort of systemic change and we live in a much better world hopefully this is the last you know as gruesome as that murder was hopefully this is the last we'll see in our generation and maybe for our kids generation it could potentially be a opportunity for change an opportunity for kind of or some kind of reform you can only hope in it you really can only hope 